Hello, welcome to the free show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of The Last Federation, the DLC version of The Last Federation, The Lost Technologies. Episode 2 is upon us. And we got to figure out what we're going to do. I think maybe we should help destroy a pirate base. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to see technology I can learn from a race. Oh, good. They have some stuff I can learn. That's excellent. So what I need to do is actually make folks like me a bit more. So we're going to head on over to the Skylaxians. We're going to left click on them. And, oh, we cannot help destroy a pirate base. Why is it? Oops. Why is this a thing? This race has to be feeling at least pretty neutral towards you. All right. And have minus 7.5. And they're at minus 8. Oh, that's super weak. All right. You know what? We can make this a little bit better for them. Oh, we can learn a tech from them, too. That's kind of interesting. Do we gain any kind of improvement? No. Um, let's see here. We can assist with an armada construction. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm not totally opposed to learning some of the stuff. So, well, let's uh, take a step back here, guys. Where is our... Give me one sec, guys. Uh, it's over here. Tech progress. All right. So I believe all these things that we need are what we... All these green ones are what we need to actually research and learn in order to finish off the game. That's what we need, all of these things here. So as you see, there's still several that we don't have and several that we don't necessarily need. But penultimate... Grand United Theory, or Unified Theory. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff down here that we'll have to eventually get. I've never beaten this particular uh, DLC, guys, so I don't know exactly what to expect, but played around with it. It seems somewhat straightforward. We're always after tech. That's what we're always going for. That's what we should always be striving to get. So that being said, that is what our goal is going to be, just to start grabbing off anything and everything that we possibly can and hope for the very best. All right, well, customizing the flagship doesn't seem that useful. Um, what we might do is we'll go and we'll take on a a uh, pirate base now with you. It's going to increase our loving nature from all of our people, including the Skylaxians. They're going to like us a little bit more, so this is the play. All right. Hey, you have allies, or at least some neutrals. All right, so don't destroy your allies. We have to destroy the pirate base enclosures, which are here. And there are probably going to be some nasty bad guys. This should be an ally right here. If I'm not wrong, it is. It's an Acution ally. I'm going to actually head down here and see if I can't take on this. We have another Acution ally there. What is this? This is a Gravity Lance turret. We are going to use our mass driver to take it out. And there it is. We're going to get in just like maybe right there. I think we're going to probably chill a little bit. We're going to focus fire down that. And uh, it's a Hydral Stealth Shipyard. Oh, our on capture gain one squadron with ten turns of cloaking on all of its members. Alright, I think we're going to actually sit here and just capture this. I don't think we're going to move at all. This is going to get destroyed by our Master Driver. And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. We're going to take this thing out as well. And how many more turns do we have to actually stay near it to capture it? I don't know if we're actually capturing it or not. I feel like we should be. It seems like it's getting attacked, or we're getting attacked by this guy. So we're going to go and take care of him with our minigun right now. That's going to be our play. And we're going to try to avoid some of the more bizarre things coming our way. Alright, so he seems pretty upset. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use our Operation 5 here, or Operation V, which will throw out five of the VB deck ships as an escort. And it's going to destroy all projectiles coming toward us. And there we have it. And what are we going to do? We are going to focus down you with the mini gun. And there is some crazy, crazy gunfire going on right now. I don't even know what to think of half of this stuff. I'll take on you. And you should be just about down. 
Your shields will be down in just a second, and then we'll be able to take you completely out of the fight. Alright, your shield is gone, and it looks like the minigun is still the best way to take you down. And it appears that we have done so. Alright, we're gonna stop focus firing, and we're gonna start shooting randomly at whatever's out there. We're gonna once again try to come to a stop up here this thing, see if we can't take it out. We have another pirate just sitting over here, which I guess we need to focus on, so we're gonna focus on him. Get closer, just kinda run him down, I suppose. These blasts are all from the Acutions, which is pretty nice. Alright, we're gonna actually come back to this side. And it looks like a lot of our ships are doing a lot of work right now. So we're gonna get closer. I, I feel like this should be... Oh, we own it. We already own it. Okay. Alright, well, my bad. I, I guess we docked with it quicker than I thought we did. So we're gonna fly away from this now. We're gonna once again focus fire down that guy and he has been taken out. We're gonna come back over here and snag these guys up. We're gonna go with the random fire on whatever you can maneuver. Which works pretty well. All right, we're gonna move a bit closer and we're gonna try to take on this right here. The Palatian pirate base here. It looks like the mass driver is going to be our best bet. Unfortunately, we're not close enough just yet to take it down. Now we are. So now what we're gonna do is go real small move here and we're gonna focus it on that. And it's gonna continually pump out these little baby ships. We're taking next to zero damage right now which is totally fine. We're just going to focus fire down some more random turrets and then eventually take this thing out. As you guys see, pretty straightforward stuff. We destroyed one of the pirate bases. We're about to destroy the second one. We're going to try to avoid whatever's coming our way. And that should be it for that. Wow, that actually held out a little bit better than I thought it would. Yeah, it'll die here. And uh, All right, now all we have left is this final pirate base and we're done. Looks like the majority of what's left is just little baby ships and our allies, which are just annihilating fools, left, right, and center. And I'd say this turn should cause it to be killed. And there it is. Victory is ours. Also, this all changed. I don't know if I hit a certain button combination to make this change or what, but it did. All right, the Acutians lost 12 base power, 34 effective power, but zero armada. So they lost a little bit. A few ships went down and whatnot. That's not that big of a deal. The pirates lost 10, 23, and one armada. Uh, we used our operation five one time. We took a total of blah, 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 blah. 54, oh, that's right, because I only, ha okay. That explains why everything took so long. Uh, remember, I just brought the seafaring technology to the, uh, or spacefaring. I always say seafaring, I don't know, just, it comes to my mind. I brought the spacefaring technology to the Acutians in the last uh, episode, and I think I forgot to rebalance my ship, so there was another mistake. See, I already made a second mistake. I'm a failure. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, 54 hostile ships participated, and 67 allied or neutrals participated. We destroyed 25 ships. Alright, so we only got 108 credits. Not a whole lot. It took us about 18 seconds of relative time, and we got a whole bunch of stuff right there, so that's pretty good. Oh, and then we also gained a bonus of 3,500 credits. Nice. Because that was our reward. Alright, so we went to Fergus. Fergus. And that is where we went and got what we were doing. Alright, so now it's time for us to come on down here. And I feel like their overall power is pretty terrible right now. The Palatians are not super strong at all. In fact, they have almost nothing. They have 7 million soldiers. These guys have 1.3 billion. These guys have 3.7 billion. The Palatians are kind of the poop. They're not really something I have to worry about or do anything to. So that's good at least. Alright, we're going to go and do some friendly maneuvers here. We're going to give them a technology. I believe there are no pirate bases. Nope. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, we're going to gift a technology to them. It'll make them happier. Though it makes me a bit nervous. We're going to go with fiber optics. That's fine. We'll execute the deal, and that puts them up to neutral. So now we can actually help destroy a pirate base if we wanted to, to gain a little bit more love, but 
I don't feel like doing that just yet. Wait, now we can do a cooperative research and gain some stuff, but I'd rather learn from them first. Because they do have a few things available. So I'm going to go and take action. I'm going to learn. When you're doing something like this, it takes time. It takes us this much time left. We can go 2x and get it done really quickly. The geopolitical fancy analysis enabled. RCI data. All right, well, we're going to ignore most of this. It just breaks down roughly a little bit better what's going on with the different planets. So we can hurry up. Public order is there. I mean, you can see different vessels flying all around everything. As you can see, the ones on the right, there's a ton of palatian nasties flying around ready to murder it. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about trends. Exactly one RCI value per planet is going to be trending, either up or down. So we're either going to have the blue one here, which is trending up, or the red one here, which is trending down. And let's see, a whole bunch of new political deals just opened up to us. Literally dozens. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so there we go. We've done our first little dealie. And we are done now. We are here. We've learned that technology. And I think what I would like to do, how long do we have before anyone else comes into play? It looks like the burlusts are going to be next. So let's stay here again, and yeah, look at this. This is uh, crazy how many things did just open up. Okay, well we can do a lot of stuff. We can provide medical assistance and gain some cash. We can destroy another pirate base, which we're going to do in a minute, but I think I'm going to do a cooperative research with them first. Improve textbooks. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll do that one. We'll take action. We'll two exit. And we have done that, and we also gained actually quite a bit of credits for that as well. 548, I mean, it's not tremendous, but considering all we did was press a 2x button, that's pretty good. It took us roughly 1 minute and 21 seconds relative time. Not too bad. So they're down to 19.6. Alright, at this point, I think it's time to do another, another pirate base and destroy it. So let's uh, take action here and get back into combat. There's four enclosures this time around that we have to destroy, and they're right there. It looks like we don't have that many allied ships. Only two is what I'm seeing. The, what are these? These are all the enemies. A laser pod. Well, we can just go for broke on this one. Just go straight out and try to kill. And I think that might be the best play for us. So we're going to do that. These are all mass driver babies that we need to take care of. So I shall do so. I'm going to take out a lot of just random stuff here. And we're going to use our Operation 5 again. And I'm pretty much just going to chill here and do things. Alright, there we go. Now we're back to balance. That's where I'd prefer to be anyway. So we're going to take, like I said, multiple shots here. I'm gonna take a shot at this thing. He's kind of lingering around. It looks like this guy's really, really angry that we're here, so we're gonna have to take him out, probably. That is a very maneuverable ship that they have right there. We're gonna try to take it out and see what we can actually accomplish here. Like I said, it is fairly maneuverable, and that is somewhat problematic at times. We just burned through its shield. We have the minigun to take it out, and we shall do so pretty easily there. It is done. We just rescued a bunch of the pilots because we were right on top of them anyway. We're going to switch to uh, auto fire at anything that's in our way. We're going to go back to the pirate base at this point and hopefully take it all out. There are still a bunch of little baby ships in our way. And thankfully our allies are actually helping us out here quite a bit. We're going to switch back over. We're going to focus our shot and there it is. We're going to fly up here. We're going to focus on this one. There's two right next to each other, so it's going to take us about three or four shots each. Actually less, because we now actually have our weapons powered up, and they're not at, like, tier one gratitude. And this is pretty much going to be it. We're going to get through this new problem. And, with finality, mission successful. Alright, we'll end the combat, take a peek. The pirates got wrecked. Our allies seem to have been fine this time around. No losses on their side. And yeah, another 3,500 credits. So we have quite a bit going for us now. I think what I'm going to do, let's see, where are our current credits? We have 22,000 credits. What I would like to do at this point is head on over to the black market. I'm going to see if I can't get a different weapon combination going here. 
All right, I would like to buy... Now, what does this do here? These mercenaries found some sort of hydro offensive ability out in one of the belts. That's not what I want. I want an actual weapon. Here it is. Buy hydro weapon. It's 18,000 credits for this, but... We should be able to get this. I'm going to do it. I know it's super expensive, guys and gals, but there it is. We could sell prisoners as slaves if we really wanted to, but we don't have any right now, I don't think. What should we do? Looks like there aren't any races that are valid for this right now. That seems weird. Oh, I imagine slaves are supposed to do this, huh? Really? Doing this is going to help you unite the entire solar system? Yeah, I am. Let's kill all of them. Alright, we can buy bribe items. We can personally research stuff, which takes us probably a little bit longer to do. But we also don't have to worry about other folks getting the text as well. So there is that. Um, not going to go that route. We're going to go and see what we actually just attained. Customize our flagship. We just got a new weapon, and it is the Gravity Lance. That's not the one I was hoping for. The Mass Driver seems to do fine. The Gravity Lance does pretty good, too. I suppose we could go with the... We'll throw the Gravity Lance in there. We don't have something that's good at getting rid of shields right now. And that's what I really need to spend cash on. Is getting rid of the shields of different enemies and opponents and whatnot. So, we do combat practice. Don't feel like I need to do that right now. Let's fly over to the Acutians and say what's up to them. And do some good stuff here. We're going to learn from them. Safer fuel transport. I like that. Take us four months to do, we'll do that, and bam. All right, here's the action and notification uh, bar that's gonna pop up. I'm not a big fan of this. I mean, it's kind of nice, but at the same time, it gets a little bit crazy as you go on. I feel like having something more like this, there's full notifications that you can pick up by clicking on an icon down at the bottom. I feel like this is actually more useful. Like, if you wanna see some stuff, it should be able to go there, but you never know. The Cushions are growing, but wait, there's one last little bit. If you click on to or into the planet details on any planet or outpost on the main solar map, you get specific event logs of that location. All right, so basically this stuff gets to be a little bit overwhelming. Uh, the Ark found it. Don't panic. Yes, the notification icon you clicked on just disappeared, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. You can just left click to get rid of them. I think you can just hover over them to see what's there, so it's not that big of a deal. But still, I found that this got like filled constantly later in the game, and it was just kind of obnoxious that it was there. It's not that big of a deal. It's kind of off in an okay spot, so that's fine. And then there's a absolute notification thing right here. And here is the crazy, crazy thing that's up here. Top three suggested allies. The Skylaxians, the Burlust, and the Acutians. All right. Top three powers. Same exact thing. So, te technology to focus on. You don't have to have all of these. However, if you're planning to win based on technology, these are the important ones to focus on at the moment. Uh, nothing right now. Okay. What's that? Also, some aren't available till later in the solar year. All right. That's cool. All right, well, that's cool. We'll back out of that. And what was the the logbook? This is the one that has all the wonderful stuff, guys. Everything that's happened in the solar system so far is there, and you can probably revisit the vast majority of that. Toggles whether or not you can hover over free-roaming armadas. All right. Well, we are here. Let's go destroy another space base. Eh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Take action. All right, pirates, prepare yourselves to die. Ah, 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 what is this? Inactive hydro technology. Upon you will get 1.5x boost to all deployed allied ships' attack power. Any ships you deploy after activating this will not get the boost. Okay. Well, I'm just going to casually fly on over here. What is this? The gravity lance is second. The mass driver is actually first. All right, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to fire at selected ship, and I'm going to take out this. Then I'm going to fire at the pirate base and take that out. Then I'm going to take out that. Then I'm going to deploy Operation 5. 
Then I'm gonna fly over here. I'm gonna switch over to my mini gun. I'm going to take multiple blasts that way, and then I'm going to chill right up next to this thing. And I believe it just got unleashed. It is now mine, and I just murdered that guy. It felt pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we're gonna go with, um... Eh, we're just gonna go with random shoot at whatever's in our general vicinity. Kinda clear that out a little bit. Auto fire, if you will. We're gonna come a little bit closer. Man, these guys have some crazy, crazy maneuvers. And some really, really cool uh, attack uh, vectors and things that they get to utilize. I'm just gonna continue shooting here. Gonna fly right on over here. We're gonna focus down you, and then we're gonna focus down your compatriot. And uh, that is gonna be all she wrote, folks. That is it, and hopefully you guys are enjoying. I hope my voice isn't too low. I've been playing around a lot with my mixer and everything else, trying to get the right mix. I guess is the best you could say it. Um, I think this sounds better overall, but we'll have to wait and see. I, I won't know until I do a few more testings and whatnot. So meh. All right, another 3,500 credits going our way, and again, more and more love coming our way as well. And it looks like the vast majority of the people are almost neutral with us, or are actually neutral with us. So we're getting close. One more pirate base, and I think, I think everybody's actually neutral or better with us, not counting the Palatians, because they're, they're little poopy people. We don't care about the poopy people. We only care about what we can get out of the thing. All right, so we still have plenty of time that we can still do things. Uh, let's go to the Acutians, do some more research up with them, because we can. Is there no more pirate bases around? I know it's heartbreaking news, but there actually aren't any pirate bases left at the moment. All right, we'll do another cooperative uh, research here. I think, um, you know what? Why not? Let's go with this. It's a, it's a full year of our time, but you know what? We're long-lived creatures. We can do this. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Oh, graphing action totally activated and awesome. All right. Well, if you guys are into graphs, they have them. I, I don't know. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the graphs, but it's always nice. I mean, certain people like certain things, and this is an easy way to kind of keep track of what's going on. Ground troop power, you have population, all sorts of stuff like that. And it shows you the breakdown. So there you have it. All right, so the Acutians like us way more than they used to. We're going to head on down to the Skylaxians and share the love a little bit here. We're going to cooperatively cooperatively research some more stuff. Ooh, there's a lot of cool things now. I'm a big fan of this. All right, I think I'm going to get this one because it's going to improve our scientific abilities. And we are going to take the research here. They still have 13 minutes before they go on. So go here, we'll burn through this, and we'll see what some of the hubbub is over here on the side. Alright, we gained a little bit more in the way of credits, but not enough yet. The Bahrains are actually researching stuff. They got lab-grown meat researched. Uh, the Evix, uh, low-drag casings, the Acutians, we did it with them. The low-drag casings for the Palatians. Thoraxians now have it as well. Pretty much everyone's got it. Fiber optics. Uh, nano metallurgy. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Base subatomic theory. Okay. Nano metallurgy and pooling our resources. Advanced subatomic theory. Cool. All right. Let's go and let's harass these guys a little bit here. We should possibly be able to. Well, I don't want to be friendly with them. I would rather be very hostile with them. Can we steal any of their technology? It looks like we can. It costs us a hundred, and we can definitely rob some of them. So we'll go and we'll take out the two things that we have. All right, in a mission, or in this mission, we need to dock with a ship. All right, so in order to do that, we have to either kill everything on our way, or to sit there and face tank it up. And I think I'm okay with that. The commercial orbital shipyard. That's not it. It's this one, right? No, that's a satellite. Where is, is this a science vessel? A communication satellite. Where is the thing that I need to dock with? Is that it? Way over there? That's it over there. All right. So, that being said, I'm probably going to murder my way across. I think that's going to be the best play I can make. And these are all mass driver murder babies. Okay. We can mass driver murder baby these things all day long. All right, we're gonna continue on our little merry way here. 
And I am just going to, as I said, mass murder everything and anything that I possibly can to make this slightly easier for me. Alright. And then all I really gotta do is fly within range, take this out, and I am golden. They are still scrambling to do things, and it's not really gonna work against me. Alright, so take out that. Probably gonna take out this. Probably gonna. Ooh, we just got hit with a laser or something, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep shooting random things. We have the dock for. Oh, we added one more turn. It takes four turns to actually complete the docking, so. Well, we've taken out pretty much everything. I'm going to use an operation, which means that you get nothing for using that. Four turns are available. I'm going to switch over to this into auto fire. And it's just going to go out and start murdering stuff, and it's going to be fine. I feel like we're still taking damage. We shouldn't be. I'm not sure what is taking us so long to actually dock with this thing, but... Okay. I'm just going to do little baby movements here and hope that that will actually keep stuff off of us for a while. And it looks like it's working. One more turn and we will be fully docked, ladies and gentlemen. And that should be game. There it is. Alright. Nice. Nice. Alright, so here we are. Detailed planet stats. The planet details you see on your screen are that of a weird wilder beast infested company of ogres i don't know uh anyway it's um accustomed to substantially more insight on the guts of the simulation all right so total population equilibrium population i don't know what that means exactly but okay land area ground soldiers blah 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 blah, blah. all right well there you have it folks there you have it don't need any of that wonderful fun stuff we stole the uh, low drag casings from them. They have nothing, and they are pathetic, and we're going to do it again. Why? Because we can. And then as soon as we're done with that, folks, we are going to break off. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Break off episode two. And don't worry, we will be back eventually. There will be more. There will always be more. All right, we're going to do some hostile acts here. Why? Because we can. Hey, we can plant the false evidence of the conspiracy if we were so inclined. But, eh. Raid for technology? What? Gosh, it looks like we've already stolen all their tech. What about firebombs? I thought... Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to do that then. Alright. Well, then what I would like to do is I want to attack the... Sorry. I want to attack their local armada on my own just because I can. And then we're going to murder them and then that's going to be that. Alright, taking a look, they actually have 12 flagships. That's kind of terrifying. It's not horrifyingly awful. It's just a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. It could take us a little bit of time to get through all of these uh, terrible, terrible things. Alright, take you out. Might eat a couple of shots on our way. And then it looks like it's just going to be mini guns for days. As soon as we get through his horrible, horrible little hull integrity there. We should be able to murder him with other various things. Alright, what is our best bet? It's the mass driver. We'll take that out. We'll take you out with the mass driver as well. We'll move here and take shots at you. So far, I feel like we're completely wrecking them. They're not doing a whole heck of a lot against us. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to see all this gunfire flying our way and it really accomplishing literally nothing. Alright, did we get through his shields yet? Nope, almost. It looks like he is actually having his buddy face tank about half of the shots. Well, aren't they just awesome with their little maneuvering around and doing things? I, I will give them props. Alright, well we took a little bit of damage there. We're going to take a couple of shots there and take him out. We're going to go back to minigun. We're going to go with, uh, just kind of overall shoot whatever you want. Take down some of the babies. And I think it's time to release the hounds. And really, really late into the enemy. Just a little bit harder than we have in the past. And yeah, we're going to focus fire. Oops, I was going to focus fire. I hit the wrong button, guys. I apologize for that. 
There we are. Now we're gonna focus fire this guy down. We're gonna dodge into some gunfire just to make sure we have enough room to take this guy out. He is now officially done. Skis. All right, it looks like our Operation V or Operation 5 is doing a significantly large amount of work. I am a big fan of this. Eight ships remaining. Soon to be no ships remaining, folks. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. All right, and let's say good day to you, sir. All right, you are up next. And of course, we're gonna fly right into you and take you down. As soon as you go down, it should be now. Excellent. All right, we're gonna switch back over to you. Make sure your shield is eliminated. It is. There's only six remaining. We haven't really been touched just yet, which is pretty funny. I actually think it's quite hilarious. To be 100% honest, I think it's quite humorous. All right, we're just gonna float on up a little bit closer, and yeah, we're gonna just take out whatever we can. All right, we're gonna focus fire down again of this guy, and we're gonna try to avoid whatever that nasty looking thing was. It did look kind of terrifying, but I'm not gonna lie. Float around, taking shots at this guy. And he should be just about done, and it looks like indeed he is. We're gonna take a couple of shots on you, and we can pass just for a little bit better positioning here, and then we're gonna take a shot at you. And then we're gonna move back over here, continuing our blast at you. Or blasting, and you are officially dead, sir. And finally, we will get rid of you, and then your last compatriot, I'm not even sure where he's at, he will go down in a hail of gunfire and glory. It will be wonderful and sweet, sweet, nice, as I'm sure you are already aware of, good sir. Alright, and that is it for you. What is next? Let's just randomly shoot whatever with our minigun. Alright, we're gonna make a special move here. You can actually change your traject traject I can't say the word today, guys. Trajectory, there we are. I told you I could get it out, I swear it. By the beard of Zeus! Oh, we got it out. You can change your trajectory at any point by holding shift and then doing like multiple little swoopy whoopy things. It's fine. Alright, we're gonna focus fire down on you. And then we're gonna do like here, I'll show you guys. Watch. You can start going this way and then go that way if you want. And again, focus fire this guy down. Been a little bit closer just to watch him die a horrible death. And this should be it right here. Trajectory and all. Bam. There it is, folks. There it is. All right. So easy, simple, sweet, sweet, nice. 1,823 credits. I mean, not bad. Not bad. And we weakened him again. He's got no armadas in the sky. And we could do orbital bombing at this point and just come kind of completely wreck him at any point. But eh, I don't know. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you had some fun with it. I will be back whenever I'm back again. This is a side project. Something that i definitely been wanting to do for quite some time. I actually wanted to go back and play the other one, and I even considered doing that first. But the DLC for The Lost Technologies just came out recently, so I figured that doing that first would probably be a little bit better. Get you guys more excited and interested in that as opposed to other things. Before we break off the episode completely, let's check our tech progress. We're doing pretty good. It seems like we're ahead of some people on certain things. Not all, but some people on certain things. We still have a lot of stuff that we need to get. Advanced gra gravi gravitonics, uh, subatomic weapons, base subatomic weapons, or basic subatomic weapons, uh, fleet construction, nano robotics. I mean, there's still a whole bunch, but I think we're doing okay right now. We'll see. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you next time with more of The Last Federation, The Lost Technologies. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>